Did you know that some ancient cultures believed we're not living in the ultimate reality, but rather in a form of a matrix? Now, this might sound like science fiction, but it's deeply connected to ancient spiritual wisdom and cutting-edge science. There's a growing belief that we could be living in a fractal holographic universe. Imagine that. Our entire universe could be a complex matrix of light, something far more intricate than what we perceive on the surface. But here's a question. What if all religions are right in their own way? What if each faith is holding on to a piece of the truth? And the reason they seem different is because someone or something is manipulating what we see and understand. The Bible, the Quran, the Vedas, the teachings of Buddhism, what if they all point to the same ultimate reality, but from different angles? And what if this ultimate reality is being veiled from us by some sort of cosmic illusion? We can see connections between these teachings. Many religions talk about hidden truths, spiritual battles, and forces that deceive humanity. The idea that we are living in a controlled or manipulated reality isn't new. This doesn't mean we're powerless, but it does mean we need to wake up to the possibility that there's more going on than meets the eye. Now, modern science is starting to uncover things that hint at this as well. Professor James S. Gates, Jr., a leading scientist in supersymmetry and theoretical physics, made a remarkable discovery. While researching the fundamental structure of our universe, he found something called error-correcting codes, the same kind of codes that exist in computer programs. These codes suggest that at a deep level, our universe is operating like a simulation. That means everything we perceive might be constructed, and the real base reality could be hidden from us. The Dogon tribe in Africa had similar insights long before modern science caught on. They spoke of Dinkra codes, ancient symbols that represented complex three-dimensional structures. These symbols mirror the kinds of mathematical codes scientists today are finding in the fabric of reality. How could an ancient tribe know this? Perhaps the knowledge was passed down from something or someone beyond this world, pointing to the fact that there's a deeper structure to the universe that many of us aren't aware of. Now, let's dive into the spiritual side. Many religions talk about forces that seek to blind us from the truth. For example, in 2 Corinthians 4.4, 4, the Bible says, The God of this age has blinded the minds of unbelievers so that they cannot see the light of the gospel. This is exactly what simulation theory suggests that we are blind to the true nature of reality, living in an illusion created by unseen forces. Whether you call it the God of this age or something else, the concept is the same. Something is keeping us from seeing the full picture. In Islam, the Quran talks about shayateen, deceptive forces that lead people astray, keeping them trapped in ignorance. In Hinduism, Maya is the illusion of the material world, which blinds people from seeing the spiritual truth. Buddhism, too, teaches that the world as we perceive it is full of suffering and illusion, and the path to enlightenment is to break free from this. So, what if we're all seeing pieces of the puzzle, but someone or something is distorting the full picture for us? Just like in The Matrix, we're living in a world of illusions, fighting forces we can't see. In Ephesians 6.12, the Bible reminds us that our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world. This sounds a lot like what simulation theory and religious teachings are telling us. There are powers we don't see, manipulating the very reality we live in, and this isn't just a wild theory. Throughout history, great minds have hinted at this deeper truth. Plato's allegory of the cave is one famous example. Plato described people chained inside a cave, only able to see shadows on the wall, believing those shadows to be reality. In many ways, 
This mirrors how we live today, seeing only what's projected to us and not the full truth. The Gnostic Gospels, ancient spiritual texts, talk about a divine spark within us trapped in a false reality. They suggest that powerful beings, called Archons, control this illusion, keeping us from realizing our divine nature and the true reality beyond. This connects deeply with simulation theory, which also suggests we're trapped in a manipulated world. But here's the thing. Waking up to these possibilities doesn't make life less real. In fact, it makes life more meaningful. If we start to see through the illusions, we can live more purposefully. We can come together recognizing that these differences between religions, races, and cultures might just be more illusions meant to keep us divided. The truth is, we are all part of something much bigger, and it's time we break free from the deceptions that have been placed on us. So, what do we do about it? First, we have to wake up to the idea that everything we've been taught might only be part of the truth. Then, we need to seek that truth with everything we've got, whether through spirituality, science, or a combination of both, the goal is to see beyond the illusion, to uncover the full reality that's been kept from us. Romans 12.2 encourages us to not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. It's a call to break free from the matrix, to wake up and realize that there's so much more out there. And here's the best part. When we start to understand that all religions, all teachings, are just different lenses through which we view the same ultimate truth, we can begin to come together. The divisions that keep us apart start to fall away, and we realize that we are all on the same journey, trying to understand this grand mystery of existence. Whether you call it God, the universe, the matrix, or base reality, it's all the same. And the more we wake up to this, the more powerful we become in shaping our own destiny. So ask yourself, are you content living in the shadows or are you ready to break free and uncover the real truth about who you are and why you're here? Because the time is now to wake up, to break out of the matrix and to bring others along with you on this journey. Together we can uncover the truth and build a reality where we aren't divided by illusions, but united by the common truth that we are all one. Tantrum Knows